Hello friends and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. I can hardly believe it's already the seventh day of vlogging every day. Um, I am currently out on the patio, the balcony, um, and enjoying some of the fresh air. It is very, very nice outside right now and I assume it's going to get warmer today, so maybe I'll wear shorts today. Who knows? Lovely Florida weather. Um, and it is almost noon now. Sam has started cooking a dinner. He's doing a crock pot thing. Um, with some of the turkey leftovers and you know carrots and vegetables and all that kind of fun stuff so I'm out here enjoying the weather and avoiding some of these smells I don't like but um, we'll see what concoction that turns into it's sort of like a ramen stew sort of thing not sure how it's going to turn out but it should be fun so that's going to be on all day pretty much and I guess today has some fun things I do have a couple of packages coming today from Black Friday sales so I'd be more than happy to do some unboxings, but I think I'm going to film a bit today, and I apologize for my hair. I have it in my pajamas all morning. Um, I edited and uploaded both of the videos for today, so Vlogmas Day 6 and the uh, first episode of 2020 Creative Reset. I actually did film it last night, late last night I ended up filming it, and I'm happy with how it came out, and hopefully you guys like it too. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, definitely go check it out. There's also a printable over on my blog you can get that goes with the video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, it's only been up for a little bit now, so not many people have watched it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and hopefully you'll enjoy an unboxing later today for the Vlogmas. As for what we're doing today, I have no idea. Um, we obviously have the uh, food on, so we can't leave um, to do anything till that's done. But I think I might run to the store and grab a couple things we need, or maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'm just not sure what's up for this weekend, um, but I'm enjoying the weather right now on the balcony. The cats were out here. They're busy sleeping now because that's what cats do on Saturday mornings. Um, and we played a little bit more of the Nintendo Switch game that I showed you guys yesterday. And by we, I mean I. I played more of it. Um, but I think I'm going to go get to scrapbooking and I will take you guys with me. I have a nice, clean, fresh craft desk. Really happy about that. And I think that's what I'm going to do right now. We're at the craft desk. We're making some decisions. So I have some stuff to put away from the 2020 Creative Reset video. And also it's very dramatic lighting because I only have one of my light boxes on. But I'm thinking I need to pick out some photos to scrapbook for my process videos next week. And that's what I think I'm going to film. I also need to edit the exclusive process video for my patrons that I already have filmed. And I need to do the story starter too. So those are some editing things on my plate today. So I have to write the other blog post or finish it rather. It has started because um, that needs to go up today. And then I need to do the videos for next week because I might as well get a head start. We need to put more foam under this. This is not, some of these are not stuck down. So I'm going to move these back to where they were. I did have to go through a bunch of layouts to find out which ones I wanted to put in. But... Yeah, this stuff was for Creative Reset. My floor is still clean, but it won't be for much longer because we're about to get crafty. So instead of actually filming, I just decided to finish off some of the Christmas gifts. I've already started. Um, I already started a Christmas album for my sister-in-law. Um, I've become frustrated because every time I go to trace this chipboard piece, it moves. So now I have like three different lines and I don't know how they'll line up, but I was just watching Christy's Beautiful Life um, on my phone, her November layout share part two. I've watched a lot of her videos this weekend so far. Um, but I was working on this. I got two pages done over here. So that's good. I'm afraid the binder rings are going to be too small, even though this is how it came. It came with these binder rings, but I think I'm going to go take a break and finally eat lunch. Um, and then Maybe set this stuff aside and do something else after lunch. Um, like I said, Sam is making um, a crock pot meal for dinner, so we can't leave. But I think I'll be back to my craft desk later today um, to hopefully finish this. I, I only have two sets of pages left plus the back cover, so not too much. So I think I can get it done and I can get it packaged and get ready to mail it. So looks like I am scrapbooking Christmas during the Christmas season, which I don't normally do. Um, but... This time I'm doing it for some gifts. So let's see how that ends up later on today. So it's actually been a little while since I've talked to you guys. Um, after I said I was crafting in here, I went and ate lunch and we hung out for a bit just on the couch watching TV. And then I didn't feel well after lunch, so I took a nap. And now it is 5.30. We went to the store and we also picked up 
fun packages. My Lawn Fun mystery bag is here. Now, I haven't looked at it. I just opened it so I didn't have to have that on camera. But I do see a lot of stuff in here. Now, I ordered another Lawn Fun mystery fundraiser thing a couple of years ago. I think I got the $25 one. So, we'll see what this one's like. I'm hoping it is worth, I think they said $100 value. So let's see. Okay. So, so far every lawn phone order I've had, which has been the two of them, you get a free stamp. So it says, thank you so much. And then this one says, I like you. My last one said, happy birthday. So that's really cute with their business card. So I just keep those on my desk. <laughs> They're just nice to have. Looks like we also got some free paper, some six by six. So we got one green wood grain. And if you guys know, I already have um, their wood grain paper pad from, I don't remember where I bought it. It might've came in one of these kits. We have this like sweater pattern cute then we have this one so we have a leaf pattern and then this one in blue but this is where the fun stuff is right here do you guys see what that is i know there's a bit of glare but i got a lawn fun enamel pin okay so let's open this i can also see some stuff here on the back but again this went all to all the profit went to charity for this so i don't mind splurging um, anything I don't want, I can give away. So maybe if there's something duplicate in here, I'll just have a little giveaway in this video. But let's start with this little guy on top. This is the Lawn Fun Pin 2019. It's official with fish. They're very, very cute. I've never seen these in person. That's precious. Now, I don't really collect pins. Um, I have some Disney pins and I have some other pins friends have sent me, but I'll be keeping that little guy. I have these um, mini notebooks, two mini notebooks, 32 line sheets, three and a half by five inch size, 2019 Lawn Fawn. So one is this cute little bunny pattern. Then the other one is this music notes with hearts. Those are very cute. I don't know, oh, and they're lined inside. Oh, they both have different, okay, well, let's see if I can slide this in. They have different linings, so this one has Christmas trees at the bottom and snowflakes throughout. And then, this one might be attached to it, I'm not sure. Yeah, that one had a little bit of glue on it. And then this one has little birds singing, plus their lines. Really cute. Um, and this is the Snowy Day Remix set. I'm not sure what, um, it's 2019 release, so must be relatively new as well as the pin was a 2019 release so let me put these back up in position then we have this have a gnarly holiday or have a gnarly winter this is winter narwhal a small stamp set i love their small stamp sets most of the stamp sets i do own from them are these small ones but look how cute he is i only have one other narwhal stamp set and that's birthday theme so this these different phrases can actually go with them too so it'll be really nice to mix and match different stamp sets looks like we got a lawn font custom cuts craft die so this is a wavy hello and i don't have any delicate dies like these really so i'm nervous to try them out we also have this set this is the offset sayings christmas edition this is one of their bigger sets i'll read some of the sentiments to you guys so it looks like these ones can all uh, be stamped with their outlines so you can do a bright and bold sort of offset so it looks like we could say we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a happy holidays we may your holidays be bright there's all sorts of fun stuff i don't know if i've ever seen this i'm trying to see if, oh this is 2019 as well so it looks like it might all be 2019 products very excited about that then we have a lawn fawn fundamentals glitter pen i have not heard of this either i'm wondering if it's clear glitter or what but this will be interesting to try out let's see if we can get it to focus so you guys can see a little bit better there we go really cool i've never heard of it acid free though and that has some instructions interesting then we have a really rainbow scalp six by six petite paper pack 36 sheets of fun so it looks like it's scalloped circles. They're all this small size. So these are like true to size for the patterns. Really, really cute and very colorful. I'm not huge on rainbows, but like they're cute. I can use these on cards, not so much maybe my scrapbooking, but there are some basic colors in there as well that we might be able to use. 
Now it looks like I do have one duplicate from the last time I got one of these and it's a stamp chamois. So stay tuned till the end of this little segment here and I will be giving this away details to come but I don't need this. Um, I like the one I do have but I don't need to so I'll be giving this away in this video so stay tuned for some details on that. Now we also have one last item. Now I'm sure this is a big ticket item and I'm actually really interested to actually add all these items up because it doesn't look like a lot and you guys know that I am a frugal shopper. Shopper, I like to buy things that are on sale and save money for other things but it looks like we got one of their big die sets. This is the Cake Slice Box die set. Um, this is from 2019. Um, so right now it doesn't look like much but it makes these little boxes now, I don't know what the finished size is. Let's see. Tells me the whole cake, eight slices, five and a half by five and a half inches, which seems, uh, these seem like very small pieces. So I'm not sure what I'd actually put in something like this. And I don't know if I'd ever use something like this. Um, I think it's really, really cute, but I just don't know if it's for me. So I think we're gonna do some looking up to see how much each of these items are in relative to you know the it's supposed to be worth a hundred dollars sort of thing so let's start googling some prices here so according to scrapbook.com this set retails for $38.99 currently on sale for $31 so if this is approximately like $40 that's almost half of the retail value of this set I believe the Lawn Fawn Chamois is similar as well so let's search Lawn Fawn Chamois I think they're they're reasonably priced but I don't think I would ever pay full price for one. So if you're looking to buy Lawn Fawn, I recommend going through another site. Yeah, this is $7.99. So again, not too bad. It's a really great tool, so I don't mind getting one of those, and I can't wait to send it to one of you. So that's eight plus 39, the six by six paper pack. Let's look that guy up. It doesn't really matter which one I look up, um, as long as it's a six by six. It does not want me to type out the word Lawn Fawn. That's so funny. Okay, and then these retail for $5.99 for the six by six with 36 sheets, so $6. Um, let's look at this pen. I have not heard of this pen, the glitter pen. So I'm interested in seeing what scrapbook.com has to say. Um, and I will try to have these items linked down below in case you guys are interested in trying them. Um, this retails for $5.99 normally. And you can hear it has the, um, like, uh, the ball to get things rolling around in there. Then we also have the two stamp sets. Last time I got one of these, I got a stamp and a die set. Like the coordinating kind, so I really like that. And I didn't get any this year, but that's okay. I got some standalone dies. So let's see if I can look up this set. On Fawn Offset Sayings. This one retails for $15, so we're getting there. So we are at a total of... 38 plus 15 plus 8 plus 6 plus we're at 75 right now not too shabby approximately again things will be on sale things will be different at different stores we can look up this hello border die from Lan Fon. and Lan Fon makes really really high quality products this retails for seven again it's on sale at scrapbook.com so i'll have all those links down below in case you guys are looking for some goodies on sale from long Fawn because it's really hard to find sometimes the good goods on sale so i don't blame you if you're looking for them and these are all relatively new things which i don't remember honestly if the last time i got one of these they were new um but i do appreciate not just getting older items because that's sometimes what happens this little guy retails for four dollars which honestly, he's so precious. I do, I, I can't get over it. And then the Lawn Fawn pin. I don't know who sells these, if it's just Lawn Fawn or if, you know, other retailers carry them. I know Doodlebug does their launches with the pins. Lawn Fawn pin. Okay, this little guy is $10. And generally, if you guys don't know much about enamel pins, I've been watching a lot of artists actually who make enamel pins and show their process on YouTube, but they generally re retail for 10 or more dollars. So that's not a bad price. Oh my God, they had a little kitty cat one, guys. Oh, I wish I got the kitty cat. So there's some of the other ones you guys might be getting if you got a Lawn Fawn box. So $10, let's add that to the total. So right now we're at 96. So I assume this last item will definitely put us over the mark for the 
50% more retail value than what we paid for these donation boxes. So notebook. Let's see if that brings anything up. And then these are six. It brings up this exact one when I typed in Lawn Fawn Notebook. So that's really cute. And again, all of this stuff is on sale currently at scrapbook.com. That brings us to approximately $102. Um, clearly worth it. I only paid $50. Um, but if you're a frugal crafter like me and you like specific, specific items, this might not be the grab box or the grab box donation to do for you. For my favorite item, I do not know. I'm really excited to get a Christmas set. I mean, two Christmas sets, really, because... I'm still making my Christmas cards. Um, their 6x6 paper is really great. I love that it's, I think it's double, it, this one's not double sided. So maybe I'm getting mixed up with MFT um, because I just tried their 6x6 paper this year. But we do love a 6x6 paper pad. Um, I did not expect enamel pins from them. I kind of forgot they'd released them. So it's really interesting to see one in person. And again, I think these look like really high quality. It has one pin back um, and it's about the size of my thumb <laughs> which does not help you guys at all it's quite small but I'm also really excited for this I don't have any of their script dies I don't think I have any lawn fawn dies at all except ones that coordinate with stamp sets and that's far and few between these would make a great stocking stuffer for someone so with this little guy I think I'm gonna keep him though because he's super cute but overall really happy um they did hit the value mark uh, I will say I don't know what I'm gonna do with this um, I might try to resell it to someone who might want it at a cheaper price. I'm just not into building things. This looks very complicated, and I don't do that complicated of things, but they are super cute. So I think I might just list this. Um, I've been actually thinking about starting an Etsy store to resell scrapbooking supplies for cheaper prices, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe I'll have a, a crafty friend who wants it, and I can send it to them. But now on to what I am giving away in this video, this beautiful stamp chamois. Since this is so lightweight, I'm definitely going to make this international. Like, it's just, it's really lightweight. And if you guys don't know what this is, essentially you get it wet and it can clean off your stamps really, really well. Um, mine's right here. And when it dries, it's it's a little crusty. I'm not going to lie, it gets crusty. Um, but you can also wash it so that things come out of it. Actually, there might be a description on the back. Yeah, just add water to thoroughly hydrate the chamois, then wipe your stamps for a perfect clean. It's great, guys. And I know it's only $8, but like... Sometimes that's just too much for people to afford when you can have, like use just water and paper towels or something. So to win this giveaway, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and like this video and leave a comment down below telling me what you are most excited for during the holiday season. It's Vlogmas. We need to start talking about the holidays more, guys. I'm not in much of a holiday mood without the snow. It's been really weird as my first Christmas without torrential snow at some point. Um, but we're loving the Florida life. So if you want to win this, make sure you follow those rules. They'll be linked in the description box down below as well. So you guys can check that out. And then the winner will be announced at the end of Vlogmas, just like I did with my last giveaway. Hint, hint, that's in day two of Vlogmas. If you haven't checked out that giveaway, there's still time to enter. So definitely check that out. But you guys can win this little lawn fawn chamois. And we'll see what I do with this other stuff. I hope I get to use it sometime soon. I'm really excited about the glitter pen. I love my Wink Stella glitter pen. So I'm wondering if this is like a different... You know, let's open it. Let's open it. I did get one other order from Black Friday in today, but it's just my uh, tape jungle order, my ATG tape that I ordered in bulk. And a lot of people were asking me um, if I like it. And I will say it's much different quality than what you get normally at like a Michaels or a Joann's or a Hobby Lobby. Um, the ATG tape can be very difficult to work with. It can rip, like the actual like whole line can rip. And if you don't know how to re-thread your thing without the starter piece, it can be really hard. And the adhesive can get stuck on the wrong side of your roll, which seems like it could ruin the whole roll. But I have found ways to fix it, which usually involves, you know, some crazy method. But um, I did buy a bulk tape when they had their sale, um, which they do also during International Scrapbooking Day. So... That's interesting to note. So let's see what this looks like. It's just a nice little pen. It says shake well with cap on, remove cap. For first time use, press tip downward on a sheet of paper until ink flows to the tip. Have fun adding glitter to your crafts for close cap and store tip up when not in use. That's so interesting because I never know which way to store my pens, up or down. So it's just a little nub. I would say medium size. I'm really supposed to shake it with the cap closed. Let's see, do I have a piece of black cardstock? I do. 
We'll try it. I'm going to try it. But that's going to be pretty much it for today's video, guys. Let's see. I don't see anything. To be honest, it's very lightweight. I thought I'd be able to feel the liquid more. Yeah, that's very... It's not doing anything yet. It said, shake well with cap on. Remove cap for first time. Use press tip downward on two sheet of paper until the ink walk, until the ink flows to the tip. Maybe I should shake it longer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this um, day of Vlogmas. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to enter the giveaway with your comment down below. Don't forget to check out, because today was the day that my create 2020 creative reset series started officially. Um, so definitely check that out. There's a printable. There's all sorts of fun stuff. So um, I don't want you guys to miss it. And I hope this works before the end of the video. Okay. It looks like something might have happened. And I'm hoping it'll show up well in the black so you guys can see it. I might start scrapbooking a little bit more tonight. I know it's early to be ending the vlog, but I don't feel good. Um, and I just want to lay down. So I am going to end the vlog here. Oh, we got it to work. Okay. I'm interested to see how it dries. I'll have to update you guys in the next vlog. But it looks very, very glittery. I don't know if it's going to focus on this poor black piece of paper. Okay, there we go. You see how it's like, it's milky right now. Um, it looks like a galaxy though. Let me try that piece of white paper as well. I guess this will work. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks much more glittery on this. And I wonder if I use like my camera on my phone, if that would help to show it. Let me try that. Cause that's what I do with my Wink of Stella pen. You guys can see the black. Okay, yeah, it's very glittery. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but you can kind of see the glitz. The white one's harder to see for me, but it might be easier for you guys. So, I'm happy about that glitter pen. I use my Stella, uh, Wink of Stella glitter pen all the time on my cards, so I'm really excited about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of these goodies and what I got in my Lawn Fawn. I guess you'd call it a grab box, donation box. I'm not sure what they officially called it. I just know that I bought one at like four in the morning because I checked my email in the middle of the night and I got an email from them about them. So I'm happy to make a donation. I'm not super pleased with everything I got, but that's okay. I have friends who might like it. I might have, you know, another giveaway for that other item. But for now, enter the giveaway down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode of Vlogmas. We're done. The first week of Vlogmas is done. There's more to come. If there's anything you guys want to know about, I'm doing a QA and a for Vlogmas later. So leave your comments down below. Or leave comments down below with questions if you want to see more organization or cleaning with me i definitely have to tidy up more aspects of my craft room so i'd be happy to do that with you guys on camera but i hope you enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye